Okay, so what is fermentation? So when we talk about fermentation, we're basically talking about anaerobic fermentation or um, anaerobic um, metabolism and anaerobic meaning without oxygen. And there's so many different ways that one could have fermentation, but basically you're taking some sort of microorganism, whether it's yeast or a bacteria, and you give it a food, uh, sugar, which can be, again, from directly from sugar, or it could be from a carbohydrate source, because uh, other, you know, other examples of fermentation would be uh, bread, uh, beer brewing, uh, even, again, we will be talking about some vegetable fermentations like sauerkraut. So when uh, the bacteria or yeast eats um, without oxygen, it produces carbon dioxide or CO2, which is what can be responsible for the, the rising of bread or the bubbles in our champagne, uh, alcohol. So um, in many cases, specifically when we think about uh, fermenting bread, uh, the alcohol is burnt off in the, the baking process, but then in some cases we actually want the alcohol for alcoholic beverages. And if the uh, alcohol is allowed to then get presented with oxygen, it actually produces vinegar or acetic acid. Uh, some other things, so fermentation is something that's been around or what humans have been using it for a long, long time. Um, there have been um, Neolithic vessels found with um, remnants of fermented honey and fermented grains dating back about 10,000 years. And, you know, we always think about fermentation typically. We think about, again, things like sauerkraut and yogurts and uh, uh, alcohol. And, and, and maybe some people also know that bread is fermented. But we actually use fermentation for a lot of processes or a lot of foods that we eat. So uh, chocolate's fermented, coffee is fermented, so is tea. And in those applications, the fermentation is there to um, basically enhance the flavor by decreasing things that would make the, um, the product not taste so good.